G'day. It wouldn't be Australia without our football, our beaches, and of course our motor cars. Whether you enjoy a bit of a spin around the circuits, in the suburbs, race tracks, or four wheel drive and in some of our unreal and vast landscapes, where'd we be without our motor vehicles? Well, I'm Chappie from Chappie's Travels, and we've been traveling now for the past two years. That's right, full time around Australia. And we've covered some great territory and let me tell you, we've been in some pretty remote spots. When it comes to looking after your vehicle, you've got to have a bit of nous up here because it could be a couple of days before you can get help and also getting the parts to where you are. So in this video, we're going to be talking about a great little tool I've come across. That's right, I'm no salesman, but I want to talk to you about this little X-Tool scanner. How good is this baby here? So come along in a little tutorial, whatever you want to call it, of how this has saved my life. Like I said, it wouldn't be Australia without the beaches, the footy, our motor cars, and one thing I forgot to tell you, the bloody flies. But we love our flies, don't we? Anyway, we've been traveling the road, like I said, two years over all types of terrain in our trusty Sangyong Muso here. And it's got us some places that we've never been before. And I've been pretty blessed that I've had no breakdowns. Okay, but like all of us, you probably got one or two tool bags. Well, in fact, we have five tool bags. One of the most important things I have is a multimeter and of course our screwdrivers. Well, that was until I got sent a little box. And in that little box was this little ripper. Have a look at it. Smaller than some playing cards, isn't it? The little X-Tool, A30M. This is an onboard, okay, diagnostic box. That's right, onboard diagnostic box. At first, when it got sent to me, I thought to myself, geez, how am I going to work that? Because old Arthur, I might be a digger. And I might have some nows. But when it comes to electronics, I thought, how the hell am I going to handle this little baby? Well, you know what I did? I went out and gave it a go. I uploaded the information I needed to on the phone. And that's what I'm videoing this off. I sat down, I read it. But better still, I put it into practice not just on my motor vehicle, but on lots of mates' vehicles and other travellers out there. And by geez, I tell you what, we saved some trouble out there. We absolutely saved some trouble. How easy is it? Well, firstly, all you need to do is download the information via a QR code. And look at this information they give you. So this is the screen you'll see once you've uploaded the program onto your iPhone or your Android phone and as you can see it's nice and bright plenty of plenty of functions going on here but simple enough for people like myself and you guys to be able to use it let's just for starters we'll get into the special functions okay plenty as you can see from throttle adaption through to your tire pressures your service maintenance injector coolers we'll just slowly go through as you can see for yourself your battery management systems airbag reset, instrument clusters. I haven't quite got into that one as yet. DPF regeneration. Now that's a big one I'm hearing about on the road as we've been traveling for the past two years. Never had a problem. Little things like the sunroof initialization. Well, it actually worked for us. Had a little jammed motor in our Sangyong and I've been waiting for a while and just haven't got back to the dealership. Play with this, reset it and by geez, it's working again. So how good is that? So there are your special functions you've got going there. And um, what it is, is um, you do a scan. It's not going to scan on this because we're not hooked up to the vehicle. But uh, what I'll do, I will plug this in and show you how it works. But as you can see here, I've got Sangyong already book, booked in. Okay. If I press this here, obviously it's a fail because it's not connected. Other th great little features on this here is, um, well, updates. I've already updated this, so I've had a few rehearsals doing this video. So 
this little system has been up to date. And you know what? It does it daily. Dead set, X-Tool got it sorted out. I've heard stories that it's no good on modern vehicles. Well, let me tell you, I'm running a 22 uh, Sanyol Muso and it's handling that. And I tried it on the brother-in-law's 2024 Mitsubishi and it also works on that. So the score is, you get it, you punch in your settings, whatever it is, put it into whatever language you'd like to talk about and you go from there. When you're looking at special features or when you're even doing your diagnosis, let's just look at just throttle adaption. It'll give you all the vehicles you need. And once you get into those vehicles, we're just talking Asian vehicles here, you'll tap onto that and then it'll open up what sort of model you want. But again, you need to be hooked up, okay? You need to be hooked up. So this is the um, X-Tool monitoring system here. It will give you reports. You can print those reports out or you can email them to the mechanic. So if you're 200 kilometres or so away from your closest little town in Australia, you could do a quick diagnosis check with this machine. That's right, the X-Tool A30M. Find out what the challenge is. If you can't fix it or reset it yourself, you send it off to the mechanic and say, look, this is what I'm needing. It's going to save you a couple of trips, could save you a few days, because out there when they're ordering parts, it's not as simple as that. So what we're going to do now, we're going to sit in the passenger seat, because that's where our plug is to pluck in the any scanner, and run through the system with it. Okay? It's that simple. Remember, it's that simple. Like I said, when I first got the little X-Tool, I thought, my God, how am I going to handle this? but you could put it in your pocket and carry it around. And if there's a bit of a challenge, this is gonna get you out of bloody trouble. Believe me, out of big trouble, especially in the Australian conditions. Whether you've got just one vehicle or two or three, you might be living anywhere. You might be in the city, you might be in the suburbs, or you might be like us, traveling around the countryside. You carry this baby with you and it's gonna be a headache that's sorted out for you. So let's get inside the vehicle, plug it in, and I'll show you what happens on the screen with it, eh? Let's go. This is bloody exciting, isn't it? Now here we are. Just get your little OBD. Find it, you can hear it. Locking in, and there we go. A little red light on the bottom here to tell you it's connected. What we need to do now, you just hook it up to the phone. That light will go green. And I'll show you what's on the screen. Okay, so what we're going to do, I've got it plugged in. Turn the vehicle on. I don't know if you need the vehicle running, but I've got it on. And what we're going to do now, we're just going to do an automatic scan. Okay, to make sure things are right. She's running through. She's going through. It tells me I'm Sanyong. I need my Muso. So we press Muso. I'll do an automatic scan. And if you look in the top line there, it'll tell you what it's doing. Run across there, it's scanning, and it's doing one of seven or two of seven now with the automatic scan. Running through the systems to ensure everything is okay. Okay, and what we'll do, if there's a problem, it'll come up and flash. We've gone four, we've gone through, she's done five, as you can see. It's past the TOD, okay, it's doing the rest of it. The mobilizers, scanning the whole works and jerks. It's come up and it's told me, that there's no trouble. DTC basically means no trouble. How good is that? Then we can just press the DTC report and she'll come out with a report. Okay, no systems detected as we look through it. How good, no fault codes. So there you go. The Muso is pretty handy and ready to rock and roll. I can save that or exit that and um, there we go. You can also, as I've said before, go into any of your specialty codes and rock and roll on them up here, but I'm not really worried about that. I'm sure you get the gift of what I'm saying, and yeah, it's a bloody ripper of a tool. How good is this, hey? Eh? And like I said, and I keep saying it, it's smaller than a pack of cards. Now there you go. In less than a couple of minutes, I've checked the vehicle out and she's right to go. We're heading off down to the Murray River next, and it's great to know things are right. But this little thing here, this little X-Tool, the A30M, as I said, it's smaller than a pack of cards. And if I can sort this thing out, 
I don't know why you can't. I'm putting a bit of a discount code up here and a link so you can get to it. Now I'm not here to make money out of these buggers. I just like the toy and I like what it does. And I just don't promote crap. I've trialled this out for a while. And I reckon it's a fair income product that I reckon you guys could throw in your tool bag. I know you're going to love it. We all love our toys. But this is no toy. It's a solid aluminium little bloody OBD which is going to get you out of trouble and save you some headaches. Because I know plenty of my mates out there have had their headaches. So if you're looking for one of these little X tools, follow the link, check it out. Look, they've got bigger products out there as well, let me tell you. But for us little guys who are driving around and doing what we need to do, and you have a little bit of a problem out there and you need to try and reset it yourself whilst you're out there, because you like to use a bit of ingenuity, get yourself this X-Tool A30M. It's going to do you the world of good. And it's going to, like I say, it's going to save you some headaches. Look after yourself. Enjoy your motoring out there. And remember, X-Tool, keep it beside you at all times. Cheers, guys.